I think it's affecting the way we write because we're all separate, because it's just different. We're all alone. And then when we come together, I think we're going to be so happy to be together that a lot of the stuff we're working on and piecing together through the internet is going to change and take a whole new form. And then we'll probably write a bunch of new stuff because we're just stoked to be in a room together. Describe your quarantine headquarters for us. I have like a home studio set up to allow me to not go crazy. So I've been writing tons of music, producing music for other people. We've started to work on more under oath music, you know, kind of in the early stages of making the follow up to Erase Me. Me and Aaron, our drummer, had talked about different ways to kind of like connect with some of the fans and under oath fans are always just so loyal and they're so cool about like collecting stuff and that's why we've always had really extensive finals and when I write lyrics for the band I'm always kind of drawing when I write the lyrics like it's just something I've always done it and a lot of times it's because it's fun or because my mind wanders or because I draw something to remind myself when I go back like what I was really trying to portray in the song and I kind of put that out there on my Instagram I got so many orders they're all different and personalized to whoever orders it, you know, and I'm a music fan, a music collector. So like, if I got something from like Trent Reznor or Tom York or something, I'd want to, I'd frame it and put it in my yeah. wall. I would hope it would be like, you know, something worth framing. So I, I take my time. And that idea that me and Aaron had of like, let's connect with the fans turned into like, oh my God, how can I keep up with all this work? So That's it's kind of cool. cool. Can you imagine what the first show back is gonna feel like? Cause it's not like just like you haven't played for a while. It's also like nobody's been to any shows for months. I can imagine because Unruh did break up. I don't know if you know this, but there was a period of time where we broke up for like three or four years. So the first show back was like, oh my God. I think that's what it's gonna kind of resemble that. What do you think the best Under Oath song for getting through like a scary or confusing time is? Or for people who are making their quarantine playlists? To Whom It May Concern was a song, the last song of Define the Great Line because we talk about like that visual of being at the end of a very long road and like knowing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. That song is very relative, I guess, to what this is. And it's funny, we have a song called It's Dangerous Business Walking Out Your Front Door off our first record. <laughs> And on the cover of that record, if you're not familiar with it, is a, is a lady with a face mask on. So it's kind of like... <laughs> so I'm just like working my ass off and just praying for this thing to be over so I, I can finish what I've started. I'm definitely not treating it like a vacation. Though.